Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know this video, it's your girl Kyra B coming out to you for a new video. Today we're going to be talking about Love Island USA Season 5 Episode 35. And let's get right into the video. Let's get right into the video. So this episode is still, you know, winding down on these family you know videos and you know the whole taylor and bergie video bergie is still you know still thinking about what his grandfather said about taylor about how it felt forced and he just did not reassure taylor he still didn't you know defend it he didn't defend the connection to her or basically you know say like you know what it's not forced at all something like that but he just did not try. Later that night, you know, they get a text to go to the hideaway. And then Bergy says Carmen and Kenzo. But then Carmen and Kenzo were like, mm, based on the family video, let's give it to Leo and Cassie. Because, <laughs> you know, yeah, that's probably the only people in the villa right now who's going to like, you know, go to the hideaway and do what they're gonna do. Leo and Cassie went to the hideaway and at the end of the day, they said they did home runs, plural. And I'm just like, wow, interesting. So I'm just like, Leo's the only person in one season, I believe, who had two different people he, he did situations like that with, which is kind of like, wow, that's kind of wild. But that's what happened, you know, and they're happy and, you know, they're very grateful that they had that chance to do that. And I'm just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. anyways, so we have next day, you know, couples really just talking about, you know, how they're doing is the final six couples. There's a challenge, a food challenge. It was a very messy challenge. It was a, a decent food challenge. I would say it's, it wasn't that disgusting get out to the villa and you know they were just happy that seems happy that you know her and kyle won the challenge you know everything is good you know she's really liking kyle you know kyle's really liking her i feel like out of her connections i feel like she does like him and vice versa so it's kind of like very nice. It's like very nice to see. So they get ready for tonight. Next thing you know, Sarah Highland comes in and lets us know that two um, couples with the lose, lowest votes are going home. And we're going to find out who the final four is. We come to find out that Hannah and Marco, Carmen and Kenzo, Leo and Cassie, and then Taylor and Bergy are... The finalists for the top four so that means scott and johnny and kyle and destiny were the ones with the lowest votes and the ones who went home i will say this scott is not beating the allegations he's not beating the allegations at all all right he is not he's not beating the allegations okay he is not beating it scott you know, was saying to Johnny that he's going to make the long distance work. He was also, you know, sharing a shower with Johnny and kissing her in the shower. So I'm just like, oh, okay. And when they got dumped, he was just like, he found his connection. Like, he's happy. Da, 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 da. And, you know, even Johnny is like so happy that she's leaving with Scott. She's just like, oh my gosh, Scott. Da, da, da. So I'm just like, hmm, yeah, let's see what's going on because he's not beating them allegations at all. Like, I don't really know the purpose of him even coming on their show this late in the game. Like, what real connection was he going to find? I mean, especially with him living in another country is like, you're not serious. You're not serious at all um because rumor has it he's coming back on another love island show called love island games 
So how he's gonna come back for that show if he's still with Johnny? Mm. Like, I don't know. He He's not being those allegations at all. He is not. He is not. He is not. He is not. That being said, he became in sixth place once again. He left sixth place in last season in the UK. And he's leaving sixth place in the USA. To be honest, at the end of the day, I could not see him writing any type of declarations of love to Johnny or vice versa because it just wasn't looking like it. I just couldn't see it like him doing that. Like, I'm, yeah, he needed to get the boot. Like, he definitely did. Now, Destiny and Kyle, they also got sent home. You know, they tried so hard to get Destiny out of here for, like, weeks now. They tried so hard to get Destiny out of here. And, you know, she keeps surviving, 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 surviving. And, you know, they got their little, they got the little one-two, they got the little one-two. That's when Kyle got sent home and, you know, bittersweet. You know, but Kyle's like, you know what? He is leaving with Destiny and he's happy about it. Destiny's been an OG girl. She's been in here for since day one. Since day one, OG Villa girl. And, you know, she's happy, you know, that, you know, she's leaving with a connection that she would like to pursue. I will say this is that if the votes were an episode later or a day later, Destiny and Kyle would not be leaving over Bergie and Taylor. After that episode with Bergie and Taylor and seeing how his, you know, grandfather's words affected him, and basically he's kind of like not even reassuring Taylor about his likes before the whole Sarah Hyland coming in, he, him and her were having a chat and she was like talking about the long distance and stuff like that. And he was saying that long distance could have been a problem. They both live in the Midwest. You know, she lives in Texas. He lives in the Midwest. Long distance is going to be a problem. I mean, like, are you not going to try at all? Does his grandfather's words have that so much effect over him and his relationship? You know, I feel like, you know, maybe the force was coming on his end. Because all the other blonde hair, blue eyed girls that he was having connections with all turned him down. It was until, you know, Taylor S actually was like, you know what? Let me pursue Bergie. She, when she came in from Casa, she was like, Bergie, 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 Bergie. And because it didn't happen with the other girl, I think Allie is her name, you know, Taylor S, you know, made her, you know, her being open with um, Bergie known. And that's why he started talking to her. But I feel like he was giving the person that was, like, giving him 100% at the time of the day. And that's why, you know, he pursued her all the way. But I'm just like, Taylor S was definitely not her, his first option. Because she was all on him. And he was trying to chat to Allie. And Allie had to step away and was like, mm, I don't think I can do this. And then the other blonde hair, blue-eyed girl was with Jonah. So... The next best thing was Taylor. So, does Bergie actually like Taylor? And I'm just like, I feel like people let Bergie on the show for far too long. You know, they made this show into summer camp. Everybody just kind of like holding his hand. You have Hannah, of uh, you know, holding his hand along the way. You know, oh, Bergie, how, like, what do you say? What do you say? How do you feel? Da, da, da. And I'm just like, Bergie... This is not summer camp. Like, come on, be for real. Um, they have Hannah and Marco, like, trying to, like, be relationship guidance counselor with Bergie and Taylor S. And, like, trying to help the relationship out. And I'm just like, mm, Bergie's been in this villa since day one. He got dumped and got sent back in with Hannah and Carmen. And he still... You know, having a hard time. So just like, you need to be for real over here. Um, back on Destiny and Kyle leaving, they really sent a real one home. You know what it's about. I would say Destiny's journey was a very, you know, 
it was a wild one but it was a very interesting one and i you know enjoyed seeing her on the screen you know i've been rocking with her since day one everybody was like oh she needs to go home she needs to go. and i was like i was 10 toes down 10 toes down it's never wavered okay never wavered you know what i'm saying i would say throughout her journey her best you know connections were with Harrison, then maybe mike and then kyle is her next best relationship in that villa um harrison i would say if she was still with harrison you know she would have definitely been in the finale no questions asked no you know situations like that he fumbled a bag he fumbled he fumbled he fumbled um yeah mike they were never in a couple but you know after the whole castle more situation that also you know fumbled so if she was with if she brought back Kyle from Castlemore and they kind of were coupled up since then, I feel like even though, you know, they came back from Castlemore, they would have been really good to go to the finale. I would say the producers knew exactly what they were doing with saving that vote or saving that episode with the family members, you know, a day after their, you know, final four vote, you know, because Bergie and Taylor would not be there. They would not be there. Anyways, at the end of the day, they sent home a real one, but she's only going to be missing for the finale. That's it. Because she's been in almost every single episode. So the only episode she's not going to be in is the finale episode, which is going to be on Sunday night. So yes, this show is finally ending. Season finale are right around the corner, Sunday night. Uh, we have a vote for our favorite, you know, who we want to win the finale, uh, which is between Cassie and Leo, Carmen and Kenzo, um, Hannah and Marco, and Taylor and Bergie. Congratulations on making it to the finale of Love Island USA 2023. Hashtag final four, hashtag couple gold. <laughs> Taylor and Bergie definitely not getting that vote. Marco and Hannah, mm -mm. no, no, no. Uh, Karma and Kenzo, no. And I just feel like Cassie and Leo, they definitely probably going to win. Like I said previously, Destiny's gonna get the last laugh. She not might be in the finale, but she's gonna get the last laugh because although Marco and Hannah are set to win, set to win. Leo and Cassie basically pulled so much traction over the past few episodes that they're in the lead to win. So people are going to be like, oh my gosh, you know, day two, day three couples, they got in the bag. Boyfriend, girlfriend couple, Carmen and Kenzo got in the bag. No, Leo and Cassie about to take the win, take the win over from them, which is going to be so wild. So, so wild. Even though they do not deserve it at all because it's just like, why are we rewarding Leo and Cassie a win after things like that? Like, granted, you know, they had a journey, but you're really giving Leo basically saying like, okay, you can do the worst thing ever in Castlemore and still get your girl back and still be able to pull out a win. Like, you know how wild that is? They're really following the Millie and Liam UK season seven print. Like, literally, that's what they're doing, um, which is kind of wild. Um, at the end of the day, I feel like they are going to win. And I guess it's Mahente Latino, okay? Mahente Latino, okay? So, at the end of the day, Cassie and Leo, they're going to get the bag. Um, Hannah and Marco thought, you know, the fact that they had put in the sympathy edit with Marco. Like, they really pull out all the stops for them to win. I'm just like... Why you wait till now, the day before the finale and a vote to say, you know, talk about Marco and, you know, his personal life and like what happened prior. I'm just like, mm, I'm like, you know, you feel bad, but it's just like, it's definitely a sympathy edit. Um, and then, you know, Hannah comforting him. So I was just like, okay, interesting. 
but yeah it is what it is we're at the finale and you know all these couples are not really giving at all but i guess magento latino is going to be winning season five of usa so at the end of the day at the end of the day we're gonna come back here sunday night to see who the winners are and it's probably gonna be those magento latino and if you guys like the video like the video comment down below and you know your thoughts comments concerns and i'll subscribe to my channel subscribe anyway thank you guys for watching this video peace